Welcome to Chapter 5, Lesson 7, which is going to go over the addition properties. In this video, we'll talk about three properties of addition that will help make adding numbers much easier for you. The first one is the commutative property of addition. And this one states that the order in which numbers are added does not change the sum. That means that you can rearrange numbers any way that you want to, and it will not change your final answer. You'll still get the right answer. For example, instead of doing 1 plus 3, you could rearrange it to 3 plus 1. The associative property of addition says the way in which numbers are grouped does not change the sum. So for example, if we use parentheses and we group 3 plus 4 together and then add 5, our sum will still be the same thing as if we were to group 4 and 5 together and then add in 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we have 3 plus 4 plus 5. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12. So we see that, and that is also the same as if we were to do 4 plus 5 to equal 9, and then add the 3 in at the end to equal 12. So you can do them in any order that you want and group them differently based on the numbers that you would like to put together first. The identity property of addition says that the sum of any number and zero always equals the number. That one should make the most sense to you and be one that will really stick with you and you won't have to think about as much. Let's go ahead and try a couple example problems with these new properties and see how we do. Example one says that Elijah recorded the number of different movies he watched last month. We are going to use properties of addition to mentally find the number of movies. So he recorded the numbers 5, 27, and 15. So we need to find 5 plus 27 plus 15. You can easily add 5 and 15. So we're going to change the order and then group those numbers, change the order and then group those two numbers together. That is the commutative property. So instead of having 5 plus 27 plus 15, we're going to rearrange that to 27 plus 5 plus 15. Now, if we want to group 5 and 15 together, we can do that by using the associative property. So we group those. So we add mentally 5 plus 15 is 20. And then we can do 20 plus 27 mentally, which is 47. So our final answer would be 47 movies. Okay, let's go on to page 6. Example 2 says, use properties to find 1 and 8 tenths plus 2 and 6 tenths plus 0 mentally. So we have our original problem. And using the, um, we can break it apart into whole numbers and decimals to start off with to make it a little bit easier to look at. So 1 plus 8 tenths plus 2 plus 6 tenths plus 0. So our first step is to use the commutative property. So we are going to rewrite that as 1 plus 2. So we're going to put our whole numbers together. Then we can put our decimals together. So 8 tenths plus 6 tenths plus 0. Now we're going to do some grouping. So we're going to put parentheses around 1 and 2 because we want to group those together. And then around 8 tenths and 6 tenths because we'd like to group those together. 1 plus 2 is 3. 8 tenths plus 6 tenths would equal 1.4, or 1 and 4 tenths, plus 0. <clears throat> if we go ahead and add our whole numbers, we have 4 and 4 tenths plus 0. Using the identity property, we know we don't even have to add. It just equals 4 and 4 tenths. All right. Let's do a guided practice problem. Use properties of addition to find each sum mentally. Show your steps and identify the properties that you used. So we have 9 plus 27 plus 1. Using the commutative property, we can rearrange here to 27 plus 9 plus 1. Then we're going to use grouping based on our associative property to group 9 and 1 together because we can easily add those. So 27 plus 10 
add mentally, and we get 37 as our answer. Okay, I would like you to do problems 2, 3 on page 6, then on page 7, I'd also like you to do 4 and 5, and then we will check those tomorrow in class.